are about to stall. And this is our adventures in and around South Africa. The Kit Fox is back and today will be the first day in a long time that we'll be taking her out for a fun day of flying. Our friend Thomas Moreau with his KFA Safari 915 Turbo will be joining us and this will be a great time to do a few comparisons between the two aircraft. Let's go have some fun! <laughs> Welcome! Thank you. I mean, we had no idea what this airfield is called. <laughs> Where the hell are we? Yeah, we usually, usually just say a yeah, private strip to the west. No, no. <laughs> we started off with a safety briefing and a discussion of the adventure awaiting. We then admired the magnificent toys of the day, looking at the build differences, before we set off on our adventure. Yankee along with two other aircrafts we will be getting airborne just west of Nigel. We'll be just to the southwest of the GF, Indian November Yankee. Engine speed. Engine speed. Thomas, do you have my visual? I got you, we're coming to your five o'clock low. Okay. Thomas, are you ready for some slow flight? Let's go for it. Okay, go as slow as you can. Okay. So we break uh, 29, 28 knots and um, it's quite accurate from what I remember and so I think yours is a little high. Yeah, I think so. Because we're breaking at like 45, 46 knots. Yeah, that's very high. Okay, so let's just do a max power and see what we can do. So let's start, let's start next to each other and then just go full power. Let me know when you're ready for full power. Adding full power. Power. Engine speed. Sure, that prop pulls properly. Yeah, she's got a really nice full reducing power. Let's go to cruise. Reducing power, cruise. Yeah, there's a proper wake turbulence behind that prop there. Eh? Yeah, she makes a lot of wind. Okay, so I've set mine now. I'm just going to reduce speed till you're next to me again. Then we put it into the cruise, which for me is 32 manifold pressure. Um, and then let's see how it performs in the cruise, both of us. Okay, uh, 32 is the same for me. Coming up on your 4 o'clock now, you can start putting yours into the cruise. Yeah, my indicator now is about 93 and uh, at 36 inches and you're still pulling away from me at 32. Okay, I'm indicating uh, 80 and my 32.5, I've got a bit of a climb that I'm trying to stop. Yeah, I'm indicating 102 now. I'm just going to go over to uh, to the East Rand GF and radio them and tell them we're going to land at Nigel. I'm just east of Nigel and Jim, then just watch where I land. Okay, we'll follow you. Yeah, that's short. That is short indeed. Nice. 
we landed on a farm's trip just to the east of Nigel, um, setting out some markers because we're doing some stall. <laughs> You good? Good. Enjoy. A little bit nervous though. No man. <laughs> <laughs> why? 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 This thing's gonna climb like that. I won't be able to see the ground. <laughs> 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 this is quite the experience. Deepers. So what are you climbing out there? 35? Uh, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> 45. Yeah. Feel them, sea turn, nose below the horizon, ball in the center. Yep. Speed is over speed. There we go. Turn it down. Um, and all the aerobatic stuff you've been doing, has it helped your this type of flying as well? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I want to show you something. Are we going to do a... I'm just going to climb a little bit. Yeah. The Someone's only prepared guy. The only one with water. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like there's this tendency of pilots to get flying without getting water. Or packing water or being prepared, except this guy. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to make a plan. I've still got some cold coffee in a flask as well. Oh, yeah. Lucky. So lucky today. Okay. So, what the aerobatic stuff teaches is that you can do this type of things without any danger. <laughs> there we go, yeah. Oh, that's proper. Huh? You're turning on a penny here. And we can take it all the way down to school. Yeah, and you say as long as the nose is below the horizon, you... Nose is below and ball. And yep. it's hard to keep the ball when you're uh, doing yep. that type of silly stuff. But Okay, so I just want to drop it in. This is also so nice that you can see out the top of the roof. With mine, it's completely closed in. Two little panels here. Okay. Sure, this thing is super smooth, eh? Feels like a turbine. Power, 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 power. Oh, there we go. Proper. <laughs> yes, that's an awesome experience. Eh? <laughs> We're still getting there. I mean, for up here, that's very short. If you had to do this at sea level, you'd be stopping in like 30 meters. 100%. But that's how you need to uh, make sure that you hit your target. Yeah. Um, I want to fly with you now. Yep. Then you just do the same thing, but what did you... At the end, I round out a little early, but I give power, give power. Yeah. Because as you give power, the speed is off. Yeah. Taking off that way, we were to the moon, literally. <laughs> so. But yeah. yeah, super fun, such a nice plan. Um, Absolutely. And that headset set up there, that's what amazed me the most. Yeah, it's nice, eh? <laughs> That tail popped up so easy. Yeah. No, uh, she climbs like a flipping yeah. machine. I'm really amazed at how that tail just popped up. Yeah, you can get it up in a uh, standing position. Like mine. I have to roll a few yeah. before she comes up. I think the tail, because the tail is bigger on this uh, one. And it's got those balancing horns and yeah. It's a very nice thing. Yeah. It's a little bit louder than yours and it's more vibration. Uh then a lot of times can be the headset. Yeah. There we go, that one was flipping nice. Yeah. And now that you've both flown both planes. Good fun. The first two landings were good, but the last one not so good. Okay. <laughs> but you gotta have one bad landing for every Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why we practice. Exactly. Fortuna Dam gaan rai. Travis, sorry for leaving you on the ground. Oh, don't you stress, buddy.
I told uh, Thomas on the way, I said, probably those guys are like, you guys know you've got no cameras, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go in first. Yep. I'll do all the radio calls, tell everybody. Um, depending on the wind, we'll either stay on the right or the left hand side because what happens is you've got your uh, canyon, and let's say the wind is coming from this direction, so this way it's a downdraft, yep. that's why it's an updraft. So we just have to check which side is the wind. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay guys, Fortuna Dam is uh, coming up about two nautical miles. Okay, and we're back at home base. That was super, super fun. And we got some great footage. Gonna grab some coffee, refuel, and back at it. Oh, wait, we have to do the COVID. The COVID. The COVID. The COVID. <laughs> I think it's the most fun I've had flying. Yeah, really? Definitely. Yeah. So, but, same for but, me. But then, we, but then we have to step this up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, guys. Have a lucky weekend. Eh? Thanks for joining Thanks us. Here. Thomas and Travis just left. We had an awesome time playing and to see the differences between the two aircrafts were really nice. We're just gonna go out and hit a few of our regular off airport landing spots and they promise to join us next time. So let's go. Yes, man. Thank you. Yeah. The police take part. This is what it is. This is what it is. Off road, four by four. I mean, I stay up and nuts and land and nuts. I saw by bush planes blood. Yeah. And yes, it's amazing. It's so awesome when you get to fly, land on a random spot and meet people, like-minded people who also enjoy the same things you do. So we met these two guys and they are busy shooting in a rifle at 308. Awesome, let's have a look. How cool is that? Awesome! <laughs> Let's go see if there's anything nice to see at Voldem. Yep. Idleboat traffic, Indian November Yankee. Two nautical miles southeast of the field, 6,500 altitude, routing from Nigel to Voldem, Indian November Yankee. I'm really impressed with how the temperature of this Edge Performance engine just works. Uh, that's 
It's, it's impressive, it's really impressive. It's 10 miles per hour, 10 knots faster than the, what we used. Yeah. With these big tires. Welcome to the Val Dam. With <laughs> Typical South African. African hospitality. Calling us over. <laughs> I don't even think we've got. Yeah, we've got a cool other. drink. Out we'll have yeah. a cool drink. I don't think we've got any cold drink, but we've got soda water. It's a Kit Fox. A Kit Fox. But it's. Uh, <laughs> you got nice big feet on that thing, eh? Can you imagine I'm so hard to flee? What you can do with your bike, I can do with my airplane. Okay. Then you're interested. <laughs> then you want to look. Yeah, come on, let's okay. let's do this. See, <laughs> do that. <laughs> See, that's exactly what we mean about South African enthusiasm about adventure. It it's so cool, <laughs> meeting awesome people at random places around the country. How much fun was that? <laughs> it was awesome. A proper way to inaugurate the, the new engine upgrades. And like we said before, if you think the kit box should have a name, be sure to comment below. After a fun day of flying, I'm happy to report that the engine upgrade was everything I expected and more. She gets off the ground faster, she cruises faster, but we'll go in depth and with all the numbers in another video. Today we also spend time with our friend Thomas Marrow, who flies the KFA Safari 915. Something similar to the Kit Fox, and a lot of people asked us to, to compare the two. And what we saw is that the Kit Fox flies a bit slower when it comes to stall, cruise a bit faster, and also at the higher end. But we had some awesome fun flying the two aircraft next to each other. And guys, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, it really helps us to grow. And like always, dream big, fly high, live the adventure.